Hey, what's up, everyone? This is ShadowFox007, and welcome back to another episode of Hidden Gems. Uh, this game is called Sleeping Dogs, and it shouldn't be confused with the game called Watch Dogs. I know when I originally saw it, I was like, oh, cool, Watch Dogs. Wait, no, Sleeping Dogs. Wait, wait what game is this about? And, um, like I said, I think uh, a lot of people had overlooked it in the past because it kind of reminds a lot of people, I think, of games like Infamous, uh, Grand Theft Auto, and those are like the big names, right, of this type of genre. Uh, but to me, it's kind of like a Skyrim, uh, but in Hong Kong, you're like Bruce Lee Skyrim. And uh, it really carries that well. I, I had a blast playing it, and maybe that's because uh, I've actually been to Hong Kong, so you know, kind of made me nostalgic and going back there and just kind of experience it. Because there's a lot of areas where, like, oh, dude, I remember seeing that, or I would visit there. But, like, who doesn't like throwing people into the environment, crushing them with an engine, or even throwing them in a trash can? I mean, if you are going with the whole counter attacks and uh, trying to do, like, the Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan S type of uh, fighting, I mean, this is a game that I would strongly recommend checking out. And, and I guess that's what kind of wins me over. The fighting is incredible. Uh, of course, it all depends on timing, and you have to get kind of get used to it, especially people with the knives and all that. And this is a level kind of farther into it, but it was something I wanted to show because I think it kind of epitomizes the game in many ways. You know, it, it kind of feels like an action movie, if you will. And you're just one man wrecking crew, which I know in all games are kind of like that. But I don't know, it just has a winning effect to me. And, and when I played it, I thought I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to have to do the same old, same old. You know, I'm going to have to jack cars, transport them to uh, point B. But, you know, there's a lot more to it, like just sliding across and disarming a person. That caught me off guard. I didn't think I was going to have to or be allowed to do that and capable of doing that. And the, the controls are very smooth to do that. And then I didn't realize I was going to be able to level up my person in such a way that they could maybe learn different fighting moves and, and I can decide what I wanted to do. Or if I wanted to be bad versus good, which I know Infamous kind of does. And, and this, you know, uh, it's taking uh, along that line. Uh, but like I said, I, I was just expecting I was going to have to do the same missions over and over again. And that's actually what gets me. Uh, I think when I played Grand Theft Auto, I was like, dude, I've already transported this van multiple times and and don't get me wrong you can do that here and it can lead to into that but because I think this game's pacing is really on par so like after you do a mission that's say the storyline you could quickly you know maybe get in a car chase or you know go street racing or gamble or do other many other things that are sideways or even like or side quest I should say even karaoke but I didn't want to go too much into it. There is a scene that's coming up, and I just want you guys to enjoy it because I actually find it really fun. So until the next episode, this is Shadow Fox signing out. See you later, motherfucker! Friend of mine wants to serve you some noodles. What? You crazy?